How foolish. Oh, jeez. Hey, Vajna. How's it going? I'm just gonna walk away from you. I think we can actually potentially fight this son of a gun, though. Especially since, fortunately, we can generally kind of retreat out of this fight as soon as things don't go our way. So that's always nice. I'm gonna reach out and grab ya. Um, you know what? My plan didn't get much further than that. Are you gonna... Ooh. Okay. Well, you do you, Vajnia. You do you. Can I actually... No, I cannot hit you. Can I hit you now? No, I cannot hit you now. Jeez. That happened fast. Well, that's why you never trust a snake. Everyone knows this to be true. Sometimes you just have to learn it the hard way, though. Just when I try and give the benefit of the doubt. Remind you to make Snowcone TM the roguelike for a future. <laughs> Some DRL. <laughs> will do, will do. I mean, it's it's what the world's been missing, honestly. It's about time. Oh, jeez. Snake is terrifying. You know that? No matter how many times we, we smash our way through this branch, I'll always be surprised at just how how often I come close to horrifying and terrible death. Um, let's smash ya, then might as well just get the heck out of dodge. At least that's the that's the coterie all taken care of. Then it's just you and me. Let's dance, Vajnia. Let's let's end this, you and I. Jeez. Wait, why did I suddenly Maybe I didn't suddenly take so much damage, but sometimes that transition from green health bar to yellow makes my brain go like, oh my gosh, I've just taken hundreds of damage. It's horrifying. Oh, okay. I mean, if you insist, I feel like this is bad for you, but cool. I'll take it. Good fight, Vajnia. Good fight. Smashing and grab a grab ya. Yeah, the old smash and grab. That's what people are always talking about, right? We just have a lot of DCSS heads out there in the, the wide world. The old smash and grab. I mean, it just works. Does it not? Okie dokie. Just about done with Snake 2 here. I can't believe that was just Snake 2. Oh my gosh. Are we ever in the in the deep stuff now? So we're just about at 14. Fire magic. Ignition is at 21%. You don't say. How about that? Okay. Okay, we're close. I just need survive you have distortion you son of a gun in that case let's just wait here for a bit just chill but they're gonna come right they definitely got my invitation they're gonna come they wouldn't just ditch me on my birthday oh jeez, that's not that's not a naga <laughs> what the heck is even that you're not supposed to be here Okay. Well, ain't no thing. Just take them out. There you are. I've been looking all around for you, friend. Well, ain't no thing. This distortion doesn't end up being a problem. I should get out of sight of that alarm trap before I come to regret all the decisions I've made in life. Perfect. It's a good start. Um, you too, friend. Lovely. This is definitely one of the better characters I've had for going through a snake. Usually I'm much more terrified the entire time, so... Gotta be... Gotta be throwing on Burner's Vile Clutch a wee bit more often, I feel. Pretty freaking incredible. So we just blow our way through what is, again, normally the most terrifying experience a, uh, a dungeon crawler can come across. Hey, and we're back. <laughs> now that's more like it. 
Okay, so we're starting to teleport. Um, hmm. I don't know why I didn't see this coming. Do I want Ensorcel to hibernation, maybe? Oh, Ensorcel to hibernation. I was mixing this up with Metabolic and Glaciation. I didn't even notice I had this spell. I just completely blended those two in my head. Whoopsie daisies. Um, Oh, that's kind of interesting. I don't think I, I do care to use that. No, I could. At least put one of the, the warriors asleep, seeing as how they are going to start... Oh, jeez Louise. Slapping me around 32 damage plus your weapons. Jeez Louise, friends. Is that even legal? Um, What the heck else can I do here? I could start clutching of the Bjorgnir's variety. Hmm. Lighting everyone on fire with ignition is, or not ignition, but rather immolation scroll is probably not gonna go super swell for me. Do I have any chance of like charming any of you? 50% on you. Pretty trashed here on all of you. But it would take out a potential 20 damage there. 22 there. Your 53% chance to hit me, your 55% chance to hit me. No matter what, this is going to be rough, so let's just start here, shall we? Yep. About what we expected. Still hurts. That's too bad. If we had one more good turn without bad damage, we could have tried to squeak out here. As is, what do I wish to do? Do I just want to... Drink one heal wounds and hope that it just gets us over the cusp. We just have to survive long enough to get teleported out of here. There's no guarantee the constriction might cancel it, in which case, I mean, I'll just start waving the white flag right there, right then and there anyway. Um, hmm. I guess I could try and grab you, but probably just gonna take some really rough damage. Never didn't have it, right? Okay. What even happened that turn? Not a lot. Are you all okay? I guess, okay, mostly missed me. And I shouldn't ask. I should just be happy. I should take it for granted. This is, this is all I ever wanted, really. So then the question becomes, now do I have enough health to potentially try that risky move? I'd be taking a lot less damage. It's so one of the worst case scenarios in Snake Pit, being encircled and constricted. Oh yeah. This has been the death of many uh, a solid character. Again, one of our Palantongas, I believe it was Holy Roller, was just looking incredible. Had an amazing set of armor. It was like a plus 14 plate armor doing work. And this is exactly how they died. And I don't want to lose another vampire to Snake in particular. I mean, we already did this song and dance once, you know? So let's just drink another health potion just in case. Perfect. Nice. Nice deep breath for that one for sure. <laughs> Feeling good about it. Amulet of Reflection. I think I will take Acrobat is okay. In fact, might even saved our life there to a certain extent. Hmm. How about that? Um, I guess we'll probably never be using this armor, so regardless, we can just pick that bad boy up and see. If we never end up using it, that's fine too. I'm cool with that. And until then, we'll, we'll lug it around for a wee bit, see if it, if it can't make the cut sometime down the road. Definitely just grab you all again so we can at least finish you with a stab and you friend have to be grabbed. You then get grabbed and so on and so forth till the end of time as all things should be. Um, you friend, wanna know what it's like to be constricted? Huh, do you like this? Is that enjoyable? I didn't think so. That's how all your victims feel, you dang anaconda. Son of a gun. How dare you? Bit of a, a taste of their own medicine right then and there. Love to see it. Not too shabby. Jeez, 
Louise. Have, have PTSD from the low electric snakes. Not today, though, friends. Fortunately, we have enough damage that even if I'm not still not resistant to electricity as I make my way through Snake, I'm not gonna fall for it to the same extent as before. Um, Ring of Vados? I don't think so. RF is the only really useful part of that, and I already got me one of those that just does it better. Just built different. So, perfect. Ooh. Another shop, don't mind if I do. I was really hoping for some more heal wounds, maybe make up for the the expenditure that we just went through there. Uh, but mutation potion can at least be highlighted. Oh, and now here, oh, okay, never mind. Still no heal wounds. Perfect. Well, uh, might as well buy one lignification to get it ID'd and one resistance for the same reason, plus the added bonus of resistance is just good. Invisibility, eh? Two of them. Same with haste. Might as well mark that bad boy down for the moment here. You know what? All the curing. Sure. Why not? Just completely overrun our shopping list with stuff. Um, hmm. Not at the moment, I think. I mean, all the Naga can see invisible anyway, so unfortunately it doesn't quite do as much heavy lifting as I would like. And so it feels pretty safe to just uh, hold that off for the moment. And we'll see what the future holds. Instead, you should die. You did die. Lovely. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh my gosh, where the heck were you hiding, friend? Um, okay. Well, unfortunately, this is a bit of a bad matchup for you, if I'm being honest. I can kind of just kite you till the ends of the earth, I, I do hate to say. Which, of course, isn't completely honest. I too, I love saying it. You suck, snake. Get absolutely rolled. This is revenge. This entire trip through snake is one extended vengeance trip live out oh geez louise don't constrict me again <laughs> oh it's only a, a good vengeance story if i don't die miserably in the attempt but jury's still out on that one i'll have to see what the future holds we're, we're trying our best though we'll get there one day kids but get a couple of quick stabs off i really don't know between stabbing and like going for a stone arrow i don't actually know how those numbers check out. The stone arrow is, it's like 3d13, right? It's up to 39 damage. I feel like I can deal more than that with a stab. Interesting. I guess it's not a full stab either, though, is potentially an important piece of the puzzle to take into account there. Because against like a sleeping enemy or a fully petrified enemy, you deal a decent chunk more damage than these distracted or constricted ones, I believe. Worst result in feeling is when a scroll blinking fails due to constriction. Oh yeah. Oh, my heart. I feel it. I feel it viscerally just you mentioning it. Because you finally decide to burn a valuable consumable only to have a horrible RNG kill the character off. It really does. It does suck when it happens. For sure, to say the least. In fact, I think I definitely learned that the hard way. <laughs> by killing off a character that was otherwise, you know, beautiful. A beautiful baby boy with their whole life ahead of them. And all, all for naught. One failed blink later. When I learned the true evils of this world that we live in. It's a sad day, but a necessary one. Learning the truth. And not too shabby. VVC does so much more damage than I expect. That's the thing. If VVC just did the constriction and holding thing, I feel like that alone would make it worth casting. The fact that it also deals a pretty solid amount of damage and kills off a lot of these buddies before I get the chance to. I mean, I don't want to say anything too explicitly because I love it. Don't get me wrong. I, I love it indeed. 
but let's just say that it is quite good. And leave it at that. Does it need a nerf? Definitely not. Devs, if you're listening, not even a little bit. It's honestly, it sucks. It's terrible. That's how I feel about whenever I talk about Fire Elementalist starts. Because I feel like the Fire Elementalist is in a really good spot for the most part. At least for my specific playstyle, which definitely plays a, a part in the, the perspective there. Here we go. Just about cleared out through all these sons of gun. This is Snake Pit 4. Oh wow. Again, I didn't even notice. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Tor, you gotta you gotta know when you head into the final floor of these branches. That's super critical. <laughs> Very important thing to take note of. And yet, here we are, still kicking. Still slaying. Um, okay, is this that that looks vaulty, right? Do you concur? Concur, Doctor? I think so. As for the rest of you, not too bad. So does Blink only sometimes not work when constricted? You died horribly like that when you thought it, you were in dragon form, got your tentacles good and thrashed? Yeah, it is just sometimes, and it's a fairly small chance too, I believe. Because I've blinked out of many a constriction in my day. But it, I think it's one of those things where it doesn't happen super often. It might be, actually, I'm trying to think, it's somewhere like a 10%. Maybe at highest 25, that seems too high for me. It's definitely on the, the lower ends of probabilities. And that's why you, you really feel it when it happens. Because <laughs> it's not, not an everyday thing, but it, it's just brutal. But fortunately, it is just a sometimes thing. That's the flip side of it. Can you imagine if it was every time? Jeez Louise. Constriction already is terrifying and leads to far more deaths than I am happy to uh, to admit to. It's one of those things where you think I would have learned my mistakes, or learned from my mistakes, rather, yet I still just burst headfirst into any snake problem thinking, how bad could it be? I mean, they're slow as heck. What are they going to do? Can't even catch me. You can't hit what you can't see, as we all know. Unfortunately, not always the case. Hey there, friend. Goodbye. Perfect. Not too shabby here. The end vault section of this is going to be a little bit rougher than what we've experienced so far. I feel like I've been very liberal in my application of magic points and you kind of throwing everything in the kitchen sink at my problems well that was quite the teleport how about that oh hey i didn't see you there friend let everyone come to me please if you could be so kind i'd like to get some some free stabs off because i think that that's the solution to the problem i was just starting to address there which is that we will run out of magic in some of these more extended encounters not so much if I'm just reaching out, grabbing them, then stabbing them. Oh, it's a bit worse when it's one of those involved. You son of a gun. Definitely worth a, a quick, quick blast. Quick drop and a sudden stop. And that should just about do all of you in. Perfect. Notice me. Notice me, senpai. Perfect. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now we can go back to our usual our usual ways. Ooh, fire magic is trained up. This might have to keep coming. If I had to guess. Let's set it to 18 while we do a quick little peek here. Ignition is down to 10%. That was not a good whistle. Don't even know if the mic picked it up. But still, wow, that's much better odds than I thought. Thank you so much, Revere. I appreciate it. It's nice to see you. It's been a minute for sure. Hope you're having a, a fantastic few months. Even though, I don't even know, I've lost... I'm never good at keeping track of time. So I know it's been been a little bit, but months may be appropriate, may be way overstating it. Regardless, I hope you're doing well. I guess that's the, the way that people generally say it, to get past that that little bit of a hiccup. And me too for hoping for good luck on the run tonight. It's 
been a, an interesting one so far, but I'm sure we'll get through in one piece. We're slowly but surely inching our way, and at the end of the day, we don't have a heck of a lot longer to play tonight specifically, so just have to try and not do anything too stupid over the next little bit here, and how could that possibly go wrong? It's not like I, I would ever do something incredibly stupid in the last uh, 10 minutes to an hour of my stream, right? Right? That doesn't sound like me. That sounds like uh, someone who is bad at video games, which is definitely not me. I'm a god gamer, of course, in every sense of the, the sentiment. Okie dokie. At the very least, aren't dying to those three snakes. So that's that's all you can really ask for in life sometimes. Perfect. Don't force lance me, you son of a gun. Some diving zot, right? Yeah, you know, in the next next uh, few minutes here, I'm hoping to, to quickly snatch a rune here. I'm going to go... I don't even know. What would be the quickest rune? Abyss probably would be the fastest one. If, uh... We were just going for the smash and grab style. And then diving all the way to Zot 5 at experience level 17. Which I say is a joke, but it's wild that some people actually just do that on a regular basis. <laughs> well, I have very few characters that don't make it all the way to 27 just because I kind of end up, even if I don't need to, even if I'm playing on a really strong character, I just start having too much fun. It's like, I don't want to quit now. Let's let's just keep going. Another one, another one. Go through crypt just for funsies. We'll see though. It's been a few months. Yeah, a great memory. It's possible to do something dumb in DCSS. Oh, definitely, definitely, never a thing. <laughs> but no, very glad to see you again. Thanks for thanks for dropping on by. It's funny, sometimes I have a great memory, other times my memory is complete trash. So it's it's a bit of a, a coin flip one way or another, but it's this kind of interaction that I, I always hope that I'll, I'll land on the, the good side of the coin in that metaphor, because if you ever come onto my stream as a returning person and I don't remember when you last did, I'm so sorry. I do really wish that I did because I like to, to make sure to, to give respect where it's due, and I appreciate all of you so much for any amount of time that you, you spend with us and, and join along for the ride. It's always such a good time. And this would be a lot less fun doing it myself. So it's great to have all of you along for the, the journey, for sure. Even if it is uh, usually just a great opportunity to showcase how stupid I can be. It's all part of the fun, right? Oh, geez Louise, where the heck did all of you come from? We really did kick that hordance nest and then just break the wrist and walk away, eh? How about that? Well, if everyone wants to just come over here real quick for a brief, but a brief moment, at least it will initially be for a brief moment. Unfortunately, your death may or may not be involved in the, the plan here, as it were. So, yeah, that's probably a pretty important part of the thing as a whole. One of the funniest stories you've heard is Particle Face obtaining 15 runes and accidentally ascending without the orb. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Oh, that is really rough. That is, it is such a good story though, for sure at the end of the day. I'm trying to think if I've ever accidentally ascended. I feel like I must have. There's like an inkling of a, a synapse firing off in the back of my brain. So I feel like there must have been one. It probably would have just been a three runer, but that's too bad. At the very least, I know that I've walked up all the way to the top of the dungeon and then maybe realized maybe that's why it's only a partial partial tingling i mean i'm always worried that if, if the game didn't like make you confirm that choice i think it would happen to me more often because so often when i haven't played for a bit and then i try and go to like the start of depths i just without thinking go d zero 
and then walk all the way back up to the very top of the dungeon for no reason whatsoever. So I wouldn't be surprised if one of these days I accidentally did that and then without thinking went upstairs instead of taking a look around and noticing where I was. Sometimes you're just playing by the seat of your pants, especially after a 15 rune run. I can see that the mental exhaustion becomes a factor to a certain extent. <laughs> oh, that is, it's a good story though. So, so at least, at least the particles got that. Also, geez Louise, let's let's be a, a little bit cautious here, shall we? Oh, how foolish it'd be. There we go. And honestly, that's kind of rad. It's a bit of a flex. Too good for Zot. That is the thing. I mean, the Orb of Zot is definitely overrated. Saving the entire world from an all-consuming evil and destruction? Kind of lame, if you ask me. So yeah, heck yeah, flex on the haters, and <laughs> screw Zot, screw Zot, wait, that's, that's the same word, don't worry. I was thinking of the, the evil wizard that put this orb in place, as well as the section of the dungeon. So they were two separate entities in my mind, but of course that doesn't translate very well to anyone outside of the, the fun-filled wrecked bounce house that is my brain process. Um, yeah, let's just sail on past that again. Oh, look, a drink. I'm very thirsty. One day we'll just have to do it just for the flex. I like that, Jazzy. That's a, that's a good, a good perspective to take for sure. But okie dokie, what do we want to do with the last bit of our evening today? We still have layer 6 to clear, even though it looks like we've been there. That was just due to an unfortunate shafting, of course, so maybe that's a fun way to go. Also, I should be careful with phrasing. Not a fun way to go. That implies death. That would be a fun place to visit shortly and then survive walking out of. There we go. That's much better. Not at all needlessly pedantic and over-explained. Let's go for it though. That sounds good to me. Hop our way down real quick, like not the slime, but to layer six. You know what? That's mostly just a bad stare at the end of the day. I feel like we can take most of the stuff that we see standing around there. Just need a, a slightly more manageable positional advantage. Okay, at least dream sheep don't don't last very long hey one one clutch is all it takes apparently my my spells live out that that strange oh what is it called what are the like intrusive kind of morbid thoughts are they called intrusive thoughts you know like when people have that that phenomenon where like anything they hold Anytime they hold something like cute, small, and fragile, they have that brief moment of like, I could squeeze this thing <laughs> and it would be horrible, of course. But I feel like that's uh, that's kind of what my wizard is doing right now. <laughs> that metaphor doesn't translate very well when you have to over explain it. Because as we mentioned last week, over explaining a joke 100% only makes it funnier. It's not a. Uh, not at all. Uh, a terrible thing to do that makes your humor less enjoyable for everyone involved. But total opposite when it comes to trying to make reference. References live or die by actually remembering the dang thing that you're trying to reference. And so often my brain gets to the reference. It's, I'm clever enough to come up with a, a good kind of comparison to throw into the mix. But unfortunately, again, that that memory coin flip that goes off in the back end of my brain just always comes up comes up heads which of course is failure because everyone should pick tails tails is just better as we all know intrusive thoughts are what you'd call that okay it definitely could be because i feel like it's a phenomenon that i've definitely yeah, talked about with uh with friends a decent number of times Um, jeez, Louise. Do you know what? 
no, we should definitely walk away from our problems for just a wee bit here. At least get enough that we can reach out and grab you. Oh my gosh, that gargoyle. Are you okay, man? You never stood a chance. Oh my gosh. Low HP enemies, beware. I'm an absolute menace with the zombie hands. Oh my gosh. I mean, heck yeah, bud. Don't get me wrong. I... I love it. I adore it. It's everything I could possibly hope and dream for in life. I'm also coming to Lair 6 about, you know, three or four experience levels ahead of when others may or may not find themselves here, but that's not important. What's important is that I'm killing it, and I'm the best that ever was, and nobody holds a candle to me, and, and all that good stuff. Plus, I'm modest, so there's always that as well. You know what? Fine. Fine, we'll reach out and grab you. That works for me. Moto, you can come with as well. It'll be a jolly old time for everyone involved. Fantastic stuff. Not too shabby. Ooh, okay. Crab could be a pain, but I guess with BBC they're not. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What have I been doing my whole life up until now? Like, when I wasn't using this spell, was I just floundering like a fool? How did I ever win any runs as spellcasters? It truly is a, uh, a world of difference. Um... I don't know where the last lava snake went. Oh, I guess there they are. But fortunately, we do also have do -do -do, do -do -do -do, the ring of bodily harmony. So let's, uh, I guess, kill this buddy first. Might as well play it smart. I'm gonna BBC you, and you're dead. Perfect. Free money, free real estate, and you do love to see it. We can ignore that one for sure. And just keep finishing off what little remains of the floor. I guess the death yaks are still around. Speak of the devil. Hope you're all doing well, my, my yaki boys. You used to be so cute with the old tiles, you know that? Like, don't get me wrong, I love these tiles for that exact reason, because I feel like it's more indicative of the, the levels of fear that one should show in the eye of... A pack of death coming your way, but, but you're missing out. You need that cute factor. Sometimes. There we go. Should be just about through. Not too shabby whatsoever. 17 teleport scrolls. How about that? I feel like I've been playing a lot of characters recently that have been struggling to maintain teleport scrolls because I'm just reading them every other encounter, terrified for my life, but not today, friends. Not today. And I can actually kind of say that confidently because we, again, don't have very long left. Heck yeah. For once, speak without fear of turning myself into a, uh, a forsworn, as it were. But okie dokie, that is the end of Lair done and dusted. So what else do we have? I guess there's the, the last couple floors of dungeon to uh to peep. Do we want to start elf at all? I feel like we really want some source of resistance to electricity before we head off into an area just filled to the brim with Zephyrmancers. You know? There are even more electric snakes there, so it's kind of a, a who's who of people that will murder me. Not exactly ideal. Hmm. Regardless, I guess, dungeon should be fairly safe. For the moment, at the very least. So let's head out to that bad boy real quick. <gasps> there you are. We found you, finally. Um, okay, so this is changing bodily harm for our willpower ring. We spent so long looking for looking for you making new friends perfect and that is a great question roga <laughs> let's take a look because it should be castable down to four percent oh baby don't mind if i do please and thank you okay 
So now that completely changes things. I feel like we're gonna be we're gonna be just swimming in it, at least as long as things go accordingly. So definitely time to finish exploring this section. I used to be so scared of the centaur warrior. I probably still should be, and yet I'm just not. I no longer feel fear. No longer feel regrets. Instead, I just murder everything that I come across. No regrets. Get him. Perfect. Well, could you ask for a better initial foray? I mean, probably slightly, but not much better than this, friends. Here's to you, Ignition. Did I, did I fail it? Ignition, don't embarrass me in front of my friends, please. Okay, maybe I didn't salute last time. Here's to you, Ignition. Get out there, kiddo. Show him hell. Heck yeah, buddy. <laughs> Fantastic stuff. Oh, trying to embarrass me in front of my friends. No good. <laughs> Imagine if I died doing that too. If I got too caught up in my own little stupid joke that's not even worth the... The maybe like the tiniest silent under the breath chuckle that maybe one person gave off. If it had killed me, that would have been so brutal. Oh, but hey, we don't live in that world, so let's just oh let's just be happy. Perfect. Um, I would like to learn shields next, I believe. Like to eventually have one of those bad boys by my side, specifically a reflective one. That is perfect. Oh, we have fun here. <laughs> Only sometimes to my own detriment. <laughs> and even if it's the majority, that's fine by me. Fine by me. Cloak of Shadows, I don't think we'll bother with here. I mean, instead just get back on the road. And one thing I should actually do, if I look at my macros, capital M is my zero? Yeah. Let's change ignition to capital N. So it's on one of our macro keys since we'll probably be using a, a fair amount moving forward. Hello friend, goodbye. Not too shabby. And it is it is nice coming out to the dungeon after finishing off the, uh, the S branches. There's something just so sweet about not having to worry about things for just but a brief moment. I mean, sure, it, it also has the potentiality to get myself killed because I'm completely filled to the brim. About as much hubris as one person can possibly stomach. I got it, friends. But is that is that so terrible? Probably, yes. As long as I don't die, though. I will not regret my decisions in life. Not too shabby. Perfect. Am I ever going to switch off this dagger? I guess not so much. Like, it does provide just such good stabs. I'll hopefully just be able to use spells against any of the truly terrifying stuff later in the game. Orbs of Fire, what have you. Hmm. We'll see how it all shakes out, I guess, at the end of the day. But yeah, those stabs. As you can see right there, just fantastic. Come on. A little bit of a, a chef's kiss. Hmm. Hey there, my slimy friend. You know what? Your other slime friends are kind of huddled up. Not very much, but enough that we'll go with ignition just for funsies. Okay, why does Vile Clutch not work on slimes, I wonder? Hmm. Let's walk ourselves through this real quick. Calls forth hands from the corpses interred beneath the dungeon floor long ago. Enemies con the area will be held in place and constrict until they break free. I guess it's hard to constrict something when it's that fluid as a, of a substance. You just try and grab the ooze and they just like bloop out of it maybe? It makes a certain amount of sense. How about that? Because is it their slime nature that this allows me from using it? Because for the longest time, I thought it was going to be things that weren't as impacted by negativity. But we've definitely seen that that is not the case since then. 
And so the mystery abounds. The mystery continues. Scientists to this day are still trying to work out why the heck slimes be like that. Yeah, hubris will kill up to CSS characters faster than anything. Oh, yes, it will. As the majority of DCSS players can speak to from personal experience. Um, I can see I have seven heads and I'm going to get smote. Okay, I was, I'm very glad with the decision we, we made there in the end. That could have been terrifying. And, you know, I'm going to just find a different stairwell. And he adds like Arnold trying to get a hold of the <laughs> Liquid Terminator. You know, I think he might be on to something there. That's a, a great way to describe it. Jeez Louise. Oh, me oh my. Things went south real fast. Oh gosh. Fortunately, you walk too fast, my mans. Okay. Let's think about something for a second here. <laughs> Probably should have stopped walking, like, about down here and just blinked up. <laughs> oh, oh, indeed. Okay, we know there are Melii over this way, so that's a no-go no zone. This buddy... Exactly, Railbird. I should have been hands off the keyboard before this very moment. <laughs> Gotta take my own dogma into account. Um, let's see, though. If we drink a resistance potion, that brings their extra cold damage down to 18. Still gonna hit way harder than I would like. But there's at least a chance. Because I just need enough time to drink a heal. And if I have resistance up, the heal should be enough for me to escape upstairs. Let's let's think about that. Let's mull it over. Alternatively, we could try and kill everyone here, but I feel like that is not going to go very well for us. <laughs> yeah, definitely one shot, unfortunately, and there's not a heck of a lot that we can do because one plan that came to mind was the idea of trying to like walk away here and then blink back to the stairs but unfortunately we only get like two steps before this bad boy is going to hit us again not great not fantastic unfortunately even their base damage if we roll badly on ac it does not go well for us to put it bluntly uh, we could try and blink some distance and then drink haste and then try and juggle from there. You never know what we're blinking into. There's a lot of unknown territory around, of course, but at the end of the day, we, we can have to do whatever we can. Yeah, it takes 2.5 odds to go up the stairs. Yeah, no, it was going to be hopefully resistance potion haste. Or resistance potion, heal wounds, and then maybe see where we're sitting after that. But I think that we might want to just try and work it out down here if possible. We at least have a lot of magic at our disposal still. I'm scared of going at all in this direction because a single melee coming into sight and smiting us is a bad thing. So I have RC in a single ring and resistance potions. So it's going to be the resistance potion, I think. That way we can keep our extra AC from one of our, our rings here. And that goes a long way for sure. Oh, hubris. Even when I'm actively talking about you. <laughs> You still find a way to sneak up on me. I think I'm going to blink here. See what we find ourselves in the middle of. Can I at least pop out of sight. The issue is if this buddy wakes up and throws a rock, I'm dead. Sender Warrior is going to do 16 damage plus your freaking crossbow. Fog might do it. 
Again, I've been burned by that before when you don't get quite as much fog as you need. But will this buddy, I guess if you step up, will you body block me? Please, please will you body block me? Will you even wake up? Not, not as stealthy as I would like. Okay, so let's hands off the keyboard first of all, first and foremost. Then, think about this. Options as I see it. Step up to the left, hope Cyclops doesn't wake up. As long as they don't wake up, we're okay. We've at least bought ourselves a little bit more time. Alternatively, fog scroll, hope that it blocks sight from both the Cyclops and the Centaur Warrior, and then we will uh, potentially be able to even escape organically by just losing them with our relatively good stealth. Cyclops will take at least two watts to hit you. Okay. I could play into it. I'm scared to rely on it too much, but then I could mix the plans. I could take one step, then fog, take even a turn to heal up, then start running. Start sprinting for your very lives. Let's do it. One step. Oh, son of a gun didn't even wake up. Two step. I'm actually going to haste instead then. Make sure that we stay ahead of this son of a gun. We'll clutch ya. What's around this corner? I'm going to drink a curing. Right. Right. I'm going to fog up. And we're going to run. Kill this son of a gun. Shoot. Shoot. Nope. They notice me. Um, that's not. That's not where I parked my car. Um, let's drink one more of these. We can also switch off our intelligence ring for some cold resistance, I guess. In a a pickle here. We can pass well through here if we start getting surrounded from both ends. Extra speed starting to run out, that's fine by me. We can even just try and keep you at a reasonable distance. Ooh. Now I need. Oh, wait a second. I kind of want that. Is this one pip of willpower enough? Management 4%. You know what? I guess we'll take it. I guess those are odds that we're gonna have to just... just take. Okay. Well, they're dead at least. Then we just need to keep... keep grabbing ya. Just about out of magic. Never mind. Never doubt it. And... you're dead. Okay. Please, sir, could you 100% chance to hit? Okay, you're dead. 